Hey, Chris, you know what kind of train this is? Well, do ya? It's a magic train. All aboard! This is the Polar Express! Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and happy holidays. I hope you all are enjoying this amazing time of the year where we get to enjoy the various holidays going on, Christmas, New Year's, and many others. And I've been working on a project recently that is perfect for Christmas time, and it is this right here. This is a Legacy Equipped Scale Polar Express. So for several years now, if you've been following the market and just this hobby in general, you know that the Polar Express is one of the best-selling trains that Lionel makes. Their semi-scale Polar Express train set sells really well, and it makes sense. The Polar Express is an amazing story and movie, and because of that, people like to have a train under their Christmas tree, and it's perfect for doing that. But for us scale modelers, we want a, a scale version of it with amazing sounds and details and Lionel has done that as well. They've done the scale Polar Express three times now. They did it around 2010 with the Pear Marquette Berkshire with the basic Polar Express tender. Then they redid it twice with the Polar Express Pilot, some different lettering, and just a more movie-ish look. But if you compare the book and movie animation to the Lionel model, they're not really the same. The pilot is kind of right, but everything else is different. The movie doesn't have uh, marker lights or number boards, and the headlight is recessed into the front of the engine. So Lionel's model, while it's outstanding, it is not movie accurate per se. I'm not trashing on the Lionel model. It is a fantastic model and demands tons of money on the secondhand market. And... Lionel will likely be redoing that engine in the near future with the anniversary of the Polar Express coming up here soon. So if people are wanting that, it's probably going to be coming here soon. But I decided I wanted something different. I wanted something unique. And so I thought, why don't I build a movie accurate Polar Express, but then combine it with the things that makes the Lionel one so amazing, like the sounds, the lighting, and the smoke features and here it is this is my custom movie accurate polar express so what exactly did i do to this engine sitting next to me and what is it is it a lionel burke is it a mth burke what is it well i'm known for upgrading and modifying engines electronically to make them better models in general so that's the first thing we're going to talk about is what did I do to this model and what model is it? This started out its life as a MTH Protosound 1 Nickel Plate Road Berkshire. So it had a Mars light and a headlight and it had a totally different paint scheme than the basic black that the Polar Express had. And also it had Protosound 1 controls in it. So it was a very old model, but the cosmetics of it were very nice. And I found this engine on trains.com. That's trains with a Z. If you'd like to save $10 off your next order with trains, make sure to use my code SIDSTRAINS at checkout. And also support the channel by using my affiliates link, www.trains.com slash SIDSTRAINS. Your support is greatly appreciated. Once I got this perk from trains, I looked it over just to make sure everything was there and that it functioned properly. From there, 
I decided I want legacy in this Polar Express that I'm going to be building. So that's what I did. I do leg legacy upgrades on a frequent basis and decided to just do a very simple legacy upgrade. The sounds, the controls, lighting, and the smoke features, and specifically the stack and whistle steam. And that is what this engine has now in it. It has the Polar Express sound card that all of the Lionel scale Polar Express Berkshires have in them. And then it has the, le the legacy controls with the amazing speed control and the amazing lighting and smoke features. The whistle steam on this engine is really nice. I love how I was able to drill the hole perfectly next to the whistle that I mounted. Going straight up into the air when you blow that whistle, it just looks amazing. And speaking of amazing things is that whistle itself. The sounds in this engine are fantastic. Lionel Berkshire sounds are fantastic and the Polar Express of course is amazing. Not only does it have the standard line of whistle, bell, crew talk, and amazing uh, steam sounds, but it also has quotes from the movie, from the conductor, the hobo, and various other characters in the movie. One thing about freaks, it doesn't matter where they're going. What matters is deciding to get on. Sometimes seeing is believing. Uh, I want to believe. All aboard! This is the Polar Express. Why, to the North Pole, of course. So installing the legacy electronics was the easy part. I do that all the time and I'm very happy with how this engine came out. But that is pretty easy to me. I can do that all the time and it's nothing new to me so there wasn't much trouble in doing that. The hard part was going to be making this 765 nickel plate Berkshire look like the Polar Express. So it started with stripping the engine down completely to bare metal and having nothing but just a bare shell. And that allowed me to then customize various parts of the shell and detail parts to the movie. Starting with the paint job, it needed to be all black. So I sent this engine shell and, and the tender shell down to my buddy Carmine at Fairest of the Mall Locomotive Works. He's on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. You can check him out on those pages. All of his links are down in the description below. He did an amazing job with painting this engine in a very nice matte black paint scheme. And he also did one major modification and that was to remove the little feed water here that sits right in front of the smokestack on these Berkshires. And that's something that the Polar Express in the movie did not have. So removing that just adds so much more character and allows this Polar Express to really look like the one from the movie. He also painted the, painted the back head detail in the cab and gave it a very nice look in there. And then finally he added the Polar Express decals to the tender and specifically with white kind of silverish lettering. In the movie and in the book it is whitish silver not gold like the Lionel Polar Express. So we decided to go with that for a more movie accurate look. Now the two main things that make the Polar Express look the way it does is the headlight and the pilot. The pilot is this big cow catcher style pilot that is just massive and sticks out from the front of the engine. So I picked up the Lionel scale Polar Express pilot from their parts department and was able to strip it down and then paint it in the same color that Car Carmine was able to use for this beautiful matte black paint job that is on this engine. And then there is the whole front end with the headlight. That's the most important part. Unlike the Lionel Berkshire, the headlight on the Polar Express in the movie is recessed into the boiler, so it's kind of flush mounted. It's not sticking out a ton. So I decided to replicate that by chopping up the nickel plate headlight and just leaving the little tiny shroud 
and a bit of the headlight housing sticking out from the front of the boiler and then filling in any holes for the number boards and marker lights to give this front end an amazing look that really does look like the Polar Express. And then finally, I added the big swinging bell that sticks up above the rest of the engine. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this engine came out. And I can't thank Carmine enough for being able to do all the paint work and some of the modifications in the time that he did. He and I built this engine in about a month, which is just amazing for a custom project. I'm not huge into building custom models, but I think a month to do all the electronics work and the cosmetic modifications to this engine was pretty impressive. And I'm just amazed and happy with how this turned out. It is really a cool engine to look at and see sitting on my layout. But it wasn't just sitting on my layout. I don't have any passenger cars for this engine at the moment. So I decided to go up to my buddy Chris's house, RBP Trains. He of course has the scale Polar Express and the passenger cars and he was kind enough to allow me to come up and film trains at his place. And even he filmed my Polar Express for his most recent video about Christmas trains and just running trains around this time of year. So make sure to go check that out. Thank you, Chris, for allowing me to use your layout and passenger cars for the running session on this engine. But enough of me talking. Let's go see this engine running around on Chris's amazing layout with the Polar Express. So, you coming? Isn't that just awesome? I love this Polar Express and I'm so happy I was able to create something that is so cool, at least to me. What do you guys think? Do you think this portrays the Polar Express better than the Lionel one? Or do you just like the Lionel one more? Or is there something that could be an, I could improve upon with this Polar Express? I think it does a really good job, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. 
I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.